This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. The big GK is in London. Uh, you've launched a new energy drink. Yep. Show it us, uh, Tyson. Furiosity by Tyson Fury. It's their uh, energy drink, so pick up yours now in stores near you. All the best. And it's even got a picture of me on the back of it. Big ugly picture, so can't miss it. Not good news for Red Bull. Definitely not. <laughs> Tyson, uh, you just come fresh from Dubai. Uh, how was the UAE? And uh, I saw you met Abdul Rozik. How was he? Um, yeah, Dubai was all right. I was over there for seven days. It's a very nice place. Um, yeah, I met I met uh, the little guy. I'm a big fan of his, and um, he's a uh, he's a good kid. Well, listen, Tyson. I want to go back before the purse bids concluded. Um, there was a lot of goading on social media yeah. from yourself towards Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn. What was going on in the background with this whole step aside deal? A lot of shite, to be honest. Um, it never happened, and, and that's about it. That's all we know. Um, Joshua wanted more money when it came to it. 15 million wasn't enough. Um, so, obviously, the fight didn't happen, and that's it. What did you think when the WBC determined that your value was 80% in this split and Dylan's was 20? I thought that was very fair, considering Dylan White made 250 grand in his last fight and I made 30 million. So, pretty fair. In your opinion, how close was that step-aside deal, was it not? I, th I was told it was really close. We were all ready to do our thing and sign and do everything and whatever, make the fight happen. But then um, they didn't, so it was just a, load, a big load of crap. And they were making so many demands. They wanted this, they wanted that. White wanted these bits and pieces. Joshua wanted these things, and they were trying to control everything. So the thing is, the positive part of this is... I get to do my fight in April. Frank, 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 has that date been announced yet? Which, yeah. So I can say that now, yeah. So I get to um, fight April 23rd. I originally wanted to fight March 26th. So here we are. I'm the top of the tree. I don't wait for other people to decide what they're going to do with my career. I fight on my times and my dates. When they become world heavyweight champions, then they can determine when they want to fight. And it's my career, and I would like to fight two to three times this year. So in order to do that, I've got to stay busy. And it's not my fault that they can't fight on March 26 or April 20, whatever it was. So that was it. Uh, with Usek, he couldn't be ready until May, end of May. So that wasn't going to happen, and then... Uh, Dylan White's now mandatory. Um, he has to have his fight, and we're looking forward to that as well. Yeah, this is what your promoter, Frank Warren, told me. He said that Usyk wasn't going to be ready for April, and you'd already waited an extra month from March. And also, Joshua asked for 20 million, not 15, and that kind of broke the camel's back yeah. for you. Yeah, it did. It did. It kind of broke the camel's back. But here was the thing that, that they didn't they didn't want to do. Why didn't, if he didn't want to fight Alexander Usyk, which he doesn't, he doesn't want to go and get his revenge or his rematch, why didn't he just walk away from that position, yeah, give Dylan White his $5 million, right, he was going to get anyway, to step aside, and why didn't Joshua fight me for the BBC belt? You know, because he wanted a bit of free money, and it wasn't, at the end it wasn't available, so there we have it. I wanted me to clean up his dirty washing as well, didn't you, big boy? Didn't you, big weightlifter? But uh, I'm a bit too smart for all that, so I'm not uh, cleaning anybody's dirty washing up. Deal with your own business. I am asking all this because Eddie's gone on camera several times, myself and Coogan, and said, essentially, you didn't want to fight Usyk next. So I'm just getting you to clear that up. That's what he's been saying. I'd fight Usyk seven days a week, 62 times on a Sunday, in his backyard. I'd fight Usyk and I'd fight Joshua on the same night. I don't follow you. They're bums compared to me. So as for avoiding somebody, I've just fought Deontay Wilder three times. Do you think I'm bothered about some middleweight or some bodybuilder? Please, I'll annihilate them. So just for everybody to know, the only reason this fight fell out of bed was because AJ wanted more money last minute. And he thought that I was going to just give him an extra 5 million because 15 million wasn't good enough. You're too greedy, mate. And that's the only reason. There's no other reasons. Usek will get his uh, fight with me, not a problem. When he's beat Joshua, again. Then Joshua has no chance in fighting for the Undisputed Championship, do you, Dossa? What was your reaction when uh, Frank Warren and Bob Aaron won the purse bid at $41 million? 
I thought it's absolutely fantastic. Um, Bob and Frank did an absolutely fantastic job to um, win the purse bids and do the biggest purse bid in history of boxing. And I was actually relieved that Eddie Earn and Zone didn't put some stupid bid in a 55 million or something because, as we know, they can't deliver, can they? Can't pay the bills because didn't they win the um, the purse bid for Tefimo Lopez and the other guys? Yeah, didn't deliver. So it was what it was. The fight did go on, so in the end, but but you wanted Frank and Bob to win that bid. Yeah, yeah, I wanted Frank and Bob to win it. Um, and they did, so happy days. Obviously, you're getting 80% of that 41 million, but were you prepared to take less just to have it on BT and ESPN, i.e. take a deal privately? No? No. I'm not prepared to take any less. I'm getting my brains knocked out. Why would I want to take less money? If anything, I want to take more. Well, Dillian White's getting his highest payday, courtesy of the show. Yeah, Dillian White's uh, guaranteed $8, $8 million, and if he wins, he's guaranteed $12 million. So it's a lot of money, considering he's only ever made 250 grand before. Now, do you see Dillian White as a, as a proper challenge? Do you see him as a yeah. bum, as you say? you see him as a proper challenge? I see him as a good challenge, but he's still a bum. They're all bums, compared to me. Compared to that man in the street who can't fight, he's a killer, isn't he? But compared to me, he's not really a great chance. How would Deontay Wilder get on with these guys, Usyk, Joshua, White? Just knock them out quite comfortably, one right hand each. Is that gone now, that feeling to Deontay Wilder? You shared the, the best trilogy, one of the best trilogies in boxing history. Um, and what's your feelings to Deontay now? I don't have any feelings. I don't, I don't think about him. He is what he is. I respect him as a fighter, as you always have to. And respect him as a man because he didn't want no step aside money. He wanted his rematch and he got it. And if all the boxers were like that, the boxing would be a big, better place. Let's see if uh, AJ has got the nuts to step up and take his rematch and try and get that, that win back. Me personally, I don't think he wants it and I don't think he'll take it. Listen, uh, you had your fun in America. I'm sure you go back there one day. You conquered America. You're sure. back in the UK now. It's great for the fans. I'm going to fight Francis Ngannou in Las Vegas next year, next March or February. So those, was there any talks happening? All this, you know, this Dylan White situation, this step aside, was there any talks with Francis Ngannou and his team? What for? Do you know when you was on social media saying I want the Francis and Ngannou fight, this was before the purse bids and concluded, was there any talks with you and, and Team Ngannou or not? Uh, not for this year, no, because I've got boxing to do. But next year we can have some, um, some fucking crazy fights. How big is that fight? Very big. I believe it breaks all pay-per-view records in, in the United States. Two heavyweights, champions going head-to-head. -head. Well, listen, as I was saying, you're back in the UK, it's great for the fans. April 23rd, um, I know you signed your part of the contract, Tyson, Frank Warren just told us today at this lunch, uh, Dillian White hasn't, what do you think is going on there, and he's been very silent Dillian. I am not too sure, and I'm not too concerned either, um, if they sign the contract they sign it, if they don't, the show rolls on, we fight somebody else and find someone else to give that money to, and change their lives. There has been a lot of talk from Dillian White over the years about yourself. He talks about a specific spa you had, where, in his opinion, he got the better of you, etc. Obviously, since this purse bid was concluded, we have not heard a thing from Dillian White. Is that surprising? Do you think he'd be engaging with you? Um, I don't look into it too much, because sparring, sparring, and fighting is fighting. Um, and it doesn't really matter what Dillian White wants to do in, in, in this fight, in the promotion. It's more about, like... Whether they do it or they don't, or they talk or they don't, it's kind of, um, it doesn't really matter. They're either going to do what they're going to do or not. To me, I don't care. They have a fight or they don't. That's it. It doesn't affect me in any way. It's, it's, it, Wilder tried to silence stuff before, it didn't help him. That's it. They fight, they fight, they don't, they don't. I don't care if it's Deontay Wilder, Dylan White, anybody. They're all the same. They're all boxing trying to beat me. And I'm the man to beat. And that's it. So, so when you do get in a ring with Dylan White in April, what happens? I knock him out. Right hand. Good night, Vienna. Yeah, he'll crush like a big oak tree. Being chopped down with a big mighty axe. The axe of Thor. So, so just to close off, uh, the other story in the heavyweight division which hasn't been announced yet is Usyk Joshua 2 how do you think that rematch goes? 
Uh, I personally don't think it happens because Joshua don't want it. And two, if it does happen, which it won't, I think Usek stops him this time. You heard it here first. And I rarely get them wrong, to be fair. Rarely. Just to close off, uh, how's Joseph Parker doing? Joe's doing very well. Um, he's training very well. He's looking very good in the gym. He's eating quick, clean and training every day with me. Um, I think he's a real force to be reckoned with. I think after I knock out Dylan White, then he might be able to, to fight Dylan White and, and get his rematch with him and knock him out in that, in that uh, rematch. And, uh, your brother, Tommy, how's he doing? He's doing well. He's over in Dubai right now. He's uh, taking a break and, and training and doing what he's got to do. And you know, I think I'm sure Frank's going to um, announce a fight soon for him. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, Tyson Fury, appreciate your time here in London. Look forward to your return in the UK, April 23rd. Good stuff, all right? And, and by the way, yeah, Eddie, I see, I see all the stuff you say about me not wanting to fight Usyk. Get your man to fight him and get that big L again, please. Prove me wrong, Dosser. Tyson Fury. For me. Tyson Fury, thank you very much.